Oh, hey there. Let's talk about exercise. Hello and welcome to the Mindful Movement. I'm Les Raymond. Thanks for joining me today for another Mindful Tip. Today I just want to chat a little bit about exercise. Now you could speak endlessly on all the concepts to discuss around exercise and I want to keep it around the surface a little bit today. Um, we can get carried away. In the past I've talked about different qualities within an exercise program and just for instance the different things that you could train while exercising. And that could be different energy systems. It could be qualities like how well you move or how much force you could generate and transfer through your body. We might call that strength or how fast you could move weight through space. We might call that like power or how long you could exercise for or endurance. But if you zoom out, there's these other qualities you could look at too. It might be like the volume of work you're doing, the density of a workout, or the intensity in which you're exercising. The quality I want to address as probably the most important quality is consistency. I've worked in a gym environment for a long time, and you could do all kinds of crazy things. In fact, what I was demonstrating with that sled, I would I would say that's like overkill in a way. It's not necessary. I was trying to be silly in some way. But over the years, I've seen people implement all kinds of programs in the gym environment or, you know, exercise outside of a gym. And I used to get hung up on like, what's the right thing to do? And there's a right way to do it. There's a best way. And as I get older, I realize that's not necessarily the case. There's lots of opinions and there's a lot of cases you can make to do certain things. But one thing that I think is really you can't argue with is the value in consistency, meaning just having this long term approach, thinking I'm the type of person that exercises. I value it. It's relevant to how I want to live my life. And the benefits that come from it are something that I deem like desirable. So it's worthy of the minutes of my day. So I've seen over the years people do what I would consider, or I used to consider like really ridiculous things where there's maybe a much better alternative use of your time. But because those folks are consistent, doing it three, four times a week for years upon years, they're, they're going to do fine. Now, if they're doing things that really don't serve their body well, like structurally, then maybe they might get some bumps along the road that otherwise they wouldn't, like little injuries, and hopefully you could dodge any serious injury. But if you take your training seriously, you're bound to have some bumps or learning experiences along the way. But that big picture of just doing it forever, for as long as humanly possible, is so important. And frequency could also be kind of lumped very closely related to consistency, meaning if you just train once every like couple weeks, you know, yeah, you might get some benefits, but it's going to be really hard to let those benefits add up over time. But once you get to two, three times a week, you could have sustainable benefits for a lifetime. So that could be a sweet spot for many people. And sometimes, depending upon how fit you are right now or how old you are, could really play a big role in how many times a week you should be training. Like for instance, if you're 18 years old, you could probably train every day and you have the resilience to, to bounce back quickly and recover. But as you get older, you might need more recovery days, more self care to support the stress associated with exercise. Now, if you have a really active lifestyle, maybe you lay bricks for a living or you're a landscaper, or, or you know, you do some manual labor. Even if it's like light levels, but if it's all day long, you probably don't need to allocate, you know, specific time to exercise. But the vast majority of the population, I think, could generally benefit from more exercise than they're currently doing, just based on the sedentary nature of our culture these days. 
So even though there's a lot of things you can focus on, I would encourage you to kind of zoom out and look at your exercise routine as this never ending hike up a mountain where the decisions you make with your exercise still kind of aim towards the top of the mountain, but you don't really care if you get there because all the benefits are in the practice along the way. Ideally, you'll find joy and love and fulfillment in your practice just by knowing that you're walking in a direction that aligns with something that you deem valuable, something that you desire. So if you're not exercising now and you're looking to uh, you know, incorporate that into your lifestyle, the place I would start is really the mental aspect of being okay with, accepting, or maybe even excited for the idea of doing it forever. And that could sound daunting, but you know, we like what we're used to. So if you're not used to that, that could be kind of an overwhelming approach. But once you're a couple weeks into exercising, usually you've got some benefits that you felt that you could feel in your body that is empowering you to stay on that course. So, you know, it's very, I think, beneficial to have this kind of process approach where you're embracing this process of living your life this way as opposed to focusing on an outcome like I want to lose 20 pounds or I want to get to the top of that mountain. Just think of falling in love with a practice that you're going to do forever which will then in turn give you all kinds of benefits whether it's emotionally, mentally, balancing your hormones or your neurotransmitters, physically creating a body that you feel good in and confident to do daily activities or things that you love and making sure that your body is there for you. Your body is housing something, the you that's in there somewhere. And ideally that body will be there for you so that the you inside that body could manifest whatever it wants for as long as humanly possible. So I hope you find this helpful. If you currently aren't exercising or you're not familiar with how to incorporate it into your life and you'd like additional help, you could reach out to us. We do offer services. We do have some movement videos that could be a good place to start for many. If you want to take a deeper dive on your individual routine, then you could shoot me an email through our channel and uh, or through the website at themindfulmovement.com and see if we're a good fit to work one-on-one -on -one together. So again, thanks for tuning in to the message today. I hope you got something out of it. And if you think you know somebody else could benefit from this message, please share it. I hope you all have a great day.